hekkies vir mans hierso by die topsport bijeenkomst onlangs het Dries Foster 4885 aangeteken. Evans in uitomstandighede vanavond, maar hy is goed op dreef. In baan 1, Gary Koker van NKP, baan 2, Johan Steinberg van die Potjestroom Onderwijs College, baan 3, Dries Foster van IJskoor, baan 4, Johan Jonker van Potjestrooms Universiteit, baan 5, Henge Routenbach van IP, baan 6, Ferns Pieterse van Correctieve Dienste, baan 7, Vian Huisamen van die RAI, en in baan 8, het ons verkoos Pretorius ook van die Potjestroom Universiteit. Een baie goeie veld, soos jy gesê het. Elma, ek dink hier kan ons vanavond dinge verwacht. Ek dink hier gaan tenminste drie van hierdie mense baie nabie of onder die 50 sekondes hardlip. Dries Foster, Ferns Pieterse en Jonker. Ek dink hier kan ons rechtig dinge verwacht. Ek verwacht ook heel wat van Henk Geruitenbach vanavond. Maar is Dries Foster wat wil wees dat hy dat vanavond weer onder die 49 sekondes kan kom. Sy pasritme is baie mooi daar om die draai. Hoe lyk jy vir jou? Ferm Pieterse is baie goed geplaas daar so nie draai, hy skort op die hake van Dries Foster. Geen keer aan Dries Foster vanavond nie. Een prachtig gepast het nou met die hand af en hy is nou sterk weer die laatste hekkie. En nou ook hier kom dit hier. Net, net oor die 49 sekondes, baie verdienstelik die selles wat hy gehad heb het hierdie naweek. Dries Forster, the winner, 49,30, another Olympic qualifying time for him. But Grant Roberts will be very happy with his second place, 50,48. Ferenc Peters are running a good third. <laughs> 100 meters for women and the target still 11,40 seconds. That's the time needed to qualify for the Olympic Games. And of course, with what appears to be a reduced team, the stakes are even higher. The lane draw for this 100 meters at the Rentmeester meeting is Susan Knox in the inside lane. Yvette de Klerk, who is becoming hotter and hotter property as the season goes on. Rihanna van der Westhuizen ran very well early in the season, still going well. Marilise Kutsia in lane number four. Marilise Steyn in five. Yolanda Steyn, who almost missed the race in six. Tracy Powell in seven. And in lane number eight, closest to this pack stand, Inge van Staden. Under starter's orders now, the South African record still behind the name of Yvette de Klerk at 11,06 seconds. The Africa record, 11,04, and the provincial record, 11,09 seconds. A moment of ultimate concentration. Course, these athletes probably find it very difficult to concentrate with the PA system as loud as it is in the background and away. Good start there in the 100 meters for women. Excellent starting there from Rihanna van der Westhuizen. Going great guns. Oh, this is good. Rihanna van der Westhuizen all the way. She took it from the start, cruised through to the... 11,58 seconds, we're going to have another look at uh, the start, take it right through, slow-mo, but it was Rihanna van der Westhuizen West right from the start, Yvette de Klerk was in there, it was a great a race for the finish, Yolanda Steyn coming through well at the end. Baie goeie wegspring inderdaad, Tony, daar is weer Rihanna van der Westhuizen, Yvette nie self een slechte wegspring gehad, maar Rihanna wat baie blitse gereageer het, Yolanda Steyn wat in die eerste deel van die wedstrijd baie mooi uitgewerk het, hier so die eerste 50 meter. Sy wist natuurlijk beseer Jolanda, sy in ernstige ligament besering, maar sy lyk baie goed vanavond. A little disappointing there from Yvette de Klerk, she faded quite substantially over the last 30 meters. This is the photo finish, you can see there Yvette de Klerk second, Jolanda staying in third place. But an excellent victory for Rihanna van der Westhuizen from the Potjesturf Teachers Training College. She's done such good things in the short sprint this season. Rihanna van der Westhuizen, another convincing victory, 11,58 seconds. Yvette de Klerk still getting back into things, not quite where she was when she ran 11,06 seconds in Petersburg. Dis genoeg om enig het lijntje mee bang te maak. Maar hy is bezig om homself op te werk. Groot Jan Pinaar, gymnasium deze dag, daar in Pieter Maritsburg. Breer en sterker as ooit. Twee jaar gelede het ons gedink dit is verby met hom. En hier is hy vanavond, en het lyk vir ons of hy in die omgeving van oor die 19 meter stoot. So sterk soos 10 meter. Maar nog iets vanaf oor die cirkel nie. Kom ons kyk nie daar. Sterk is 
antwoord, stevig van die rechterbeen af, oor die 20 meter, as ek het nie mis het nie, maar hy kort nog een bykie meer spoed, en dan gaan hierdie man werkelijk 21 meter stoot, en dan kan hy bedreiging word by die Olympische Spelen. Ja, hy is baie verheeg oor daar die prestatie. Mens kan nie dink, dis die man wat nou nie so kwaai gelijk het nie van die concentratie. En kyk hoe verheeg is hy nou. Al die pad van Pieter Maritsburg afgerei om vanavond hier te kom deelneem. Laag sit en hy moet glij as die rechtervoet onder hem in kry. Kyk nou hoe lang hy rechtervoet stevig stoot. Baie mooi, die linkervoet het bykie gauw pad gegee. Maar een stevige stoot, wie kurt is hier nou as een man 20 meter stoot? What an acquisition for Natal and Peter Maritzburg Collegians. Jan Pinar, the best performances in the shot put over the past two years. 20,01, his winning distance this evening, and his worst throw, 19,67 meters. Great performance. Start for Nikar in seven, and then Marco Ols, who's been improving with every outing in the outside lane. And a light as far as the men is concerned. A very even start there and immediately it's Marco Olds with his very quick start next to the stadium, away very quickly down the main straight and it's on the inside, it's Adrian Lampert, the man that John Short was talking about coming through. My guess is that it was on Marco Olds, but let's have a look. Adrian Lampert might be the man in lane number four. 10,49, excellent running from these athletes. That's Marco Olds. That's Warren McCann. At this stage, still a little bit of doubt as to who won that event. Here's the start. Here Marco Ols had arm a wegspring. I think he and Marcel Winkler is waarschijnlijk the finest wegspringers in South Africa. Right. Here in the end, he said, man, it's not going to be a bit of 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 a That's the photo finish showing us very clearly that Marco Ols was the winner. Adrian Lambert in second place. The winning time 10,49. Second and third is going to be desperately close. That looks to me like Warren McCann. Exciting running from the likes of Marco Ols, Adrian Lambert, Warren McCann and Gerard van Niekerk. Marco Ols are doing enough to win tonight. Warren McCann and Gerard van Niekerk having a great dice. Van der Skuif, Baan 6, Adrie Engelse. Henningse in baan 7, Natasha Jong en in baan 8, Lynette Byrne natuurlijk 13-3-0. Corine van Inkert traditioneel baie sterk uit die blokke uit. En hier is ons junior in baan 8, Lynette Byrne is wat baie goed haak loop. En Inge Moot potgitter wat lyk of sy weer een goeie wetloop haak loop. Maar is Corine van Inkert wat baie gemakkelijk ween in een 13-5-5 ongeveer. Notwithstanding her injury...